Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics. We're here to review this experiment. This is a Dyphambachia and the unusual thing about this Dyphambachia is that it's growing on top of a sheet of aluminum foil and then at the night time it actually lives inside this Faraday cage. So this Faraday cage at the night time comes over the plant and the plant basically sleeps inside the Faraday cage. And over here, you can see that's actually grounded to the electrical utility system, and right next to a window. So it's got plenty of light in here. So this experiment's been running for a few months now. We're starting to see stuff. And we're gonna have a little look at the plant. So this is the Dyphon back here. When they come into my home, they typically have leaves the size of my hand. And over time, these leaves change because I have radio wave fields throughout my home from transmitting utility meters and cell phone towers that are in the area. And the purpose of seeing what happens inside the Faraday cage in this particular case is that people have started sleeping inside of Faraday cages to offset the radio wave sickness symptoms electromagnetic hypersensitivity symptoms that are starting to show up in the population. So I wanted to know if this is biologically harmful. I'm starting to get indications that certainly we're getting some growth defects showing up in the plant, getting the shiny leaves and getting a much smaller leaf growth. But currently this growth is actually better than plants that I grow outside of Faraday cages. So that is the good news regarding this experiment. So we're gonna leave it growing for a little while longer. And when it deforms some more, we'll come back and do another review. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.